What is going on Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. In today's video we'll be tackling a, well it's a little bit of a tough issue but it's not necessarily wrong. An NFL executive perfectly perfectly rips and diagnoses the Jets biggest issue. Now it's not rocket science to figure out what this New York Jets biggest issue is but I think the way that he went about this was just so spot on to describe this unit for the New York Jets and the biggest problem. So there's your hint. It's a unit. I give you one guess. So an NFL executive told Rich Semini of ESPN that the New York Jets offensive line is quote, terrible. <laughs> that might be putting it nicely. I appreciate the brutal honesty from the NFL exec. I wanted to get on here and say that this guy, you know, ripped him and that he was wrong for doing so. And it's actually not that bad. And what he said was over the line. And let's be honest, guys, can't do it. Can't do it. In fact, he's actually spot on. So here you go. Here's the main quote here. Uh, for what the New York Jets need to do to fix this offensive line and why it's their biggest thing that they have to fix. They've got to get into free agency, they said. They don't need stars. They just need solid guys, tough guys, high IQ guys. They need to sign a couple of those players for B money, not A money. Everywhere else, they're fine. It's easier to fix one thing than three things. So if you want to feel a little bit better about the Jets, they're pretty much saying that they are good everywhere else, which good everywhere else is, uh, they're mostly good. Defensive side of the ball, it's a lot of retaining. Special teams, a lot of retaining. They need to add at wide receiver, which is a position that was not mentioned by this NFL executive, and they also need to add at offensive line. But it's so important for them to add on this offensive line because in 2024, the Jets are banking on Aaron Rodgers to, one, be healthy, and number two, mitigate or get rid of some of those issues that we've seen on the offensive side of the ball, all the flaws with Nate Hackett, all the flaws with some of the, the line, the receivers, all that stuff. Aaron Rodgers is the offense. So what do you have to do? You have to protect him. I do think quarterback play has a big impact on uh, the offensive line, but clearly the Jets need to do a lot. So they have what two pieces to the offensive line maybe three that you are comfortable with those two pieces are Elijah Vera Tucker and Joe Tipman the debate that you have to have if you're the New York Jets you're Joe Douglas and this staff and Jet fans are going to do this all offseason until we know but the biggest debate is where does Elijah Vera Tucker and Joe Tipman play is it center or guard for Joe Tipman? And is it tackle or guard for Elijah Vera Tucker? Think whatever you want. Does not matter. I, I do not care what your opinion at home is on the subject. The you just have to go in and figure out what the plan is because then when we get to March, that's when the free agency starts. And you have to be deciding, do you want Elijah Vera Tucker at tackle or at guard? And if you have your answer, that's going to, you know, it's going to impact what players you are going after and, and things like that. Same with Tittman. If you're playing him at guard, then maybe you're bringing back Connor McGovern and adding a center or, or something else, you know, along those lines. But it's really an issue. And Lakin Tomlinson's the, the questionable third. Not that Lakin Tomlinson is all that good, but the thought of having to change out three spots is really challenging on this offensive line. Is it doable? Yes, but it's not easy. It's a lot easier to replace two. Three is a whole different offensive line, but which is probably not a bad thing. I would do that. I know it's risky, but I would move on from Lake and Tomlinson uh, and use that money for upgrades, but 100% the right way to look at it, if you ask me. I mean, some more numbers from this article is just not pretty and it wasn't just in 2023 if you look back over the last four years so 23 22 21 20 that four year look the jets rank 29th in sacks 26th in pass block win rate 20th in uh, in yards per rush 32nd in run blocking win rate per espn stats and info that is absolutely horrible 
it's horrible. I'm sorry, there is no way around it. So both in free agency, which this article references, like the Jets have to be active in free agency. You can't just go into the draft and say that you're going to fix this line through the draft. You ha- you probably are going to have to. Having a top 10 pick more than likely will help you You know, try to fix that unit, whether it's a Fashanu or a Fuaga or Latham or whoever. You know, whichever guy you, is your favorite, you like, whatever. But, man, this offensive line needs a lot of work. And like I said, I wanted to, when I saw the article, when I saw the story, I wanted to be angry about it and be like, oh, how dare this NFL executive, you know, call the the Jets terrible. But in this instance, that that's the only way to describe it. This offensive line has been terrible. And if they want Aaron Rodgers to do everything that he's capable of, and if, you know, they want to really give this the best go possible. You're going all in with Aaron Rodgers in the next two years, probably. Well, make sure you have a pretty damn good offensive line. And that starts with hitting in free agency, which, again, let's be honest, Joe Douglas doesn't have a lot of wins there. And it also happens in the NFL draft. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I'm Matt O'Leary. Please make sure before you go, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you next time. Go Jets! 